what a beautiful sight. Sailing pretty much dead west. I've come off course a little bit. I'm trying to just trim the boat at the moment. Just left uh, Santa Marta, which is right behind me here. Uh, said goodbye to some of my friends that are still there. Uh, the rest of my friends are down that away, down in San Blas, San Blas Islands of Panama, and that's where we're heading next. Uh, I'm excited. I've wanted to visit this place uh, for a long time. There's uh, a girl that does a, a blog called White Spot Pirates. Um, that's the name of her blog. Uh, video series, setting video series on YouTube. Uh, a, a gutsy lady. She's done some incredible stuff. Uh, she sails a lot in that, or has done in that area, and I, that's how I first came to know the San Blas Islands. So, gonna check that out. Um, uh, where I've just been was expensive. The, the, uh, the town itself is cheap, everything, but the, the marina is hellish expensive. All the services are expensive. Uh, Panama is probably one of the most, where we're going now, is probably one of the most expensive places to go. Hundreds of dollars just to visit there. I've got to say, it's, it's a bit of a rip-off by all accounts. Anyway, we'll see. We've got a bit of chop here. Uh, as I said, the city's behind us. It's rather beautiful. I'm leaving in the late afternoon uh, because further down the track, about 40 miles from here, there's a big river that empties out into this huge bay that we're in. Uh, and it uh, has logs and dead cows and <laughs> all sorts of stuff floating down there and it comes out with a hellish current which apparently can be quite violent and it's best uh, crossed uh, in the daylight so I'm leaving uh, in the evening gonna do the night and hopefully daytime uh, will be there so that's uh, uh, a new adventure again lovely this is really spectacular at the moment it's nice to be cool it's been a hellish hot day I'm prepping a boat to go to sea after you've been uh, sitting in the marina for nearly a month. Everything needs to in, there's lots of stuff. All the paperwork, bills to be paid, all kinds of stuff like that. Getting my, my exit visa stamped and paperwork for the boat. It's been non-stop uploading a video, um, uh, doing uh, Facebook stuff and blogs, um, and, and prepping the boat. So I'm really tired. I just wanted to. I just wanted to put the anchor down in the bay and leave tomorrow. But the plan has to work. Uh, I have to leave tonight, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, but it's so nice to be cool. I really, really was hot today. I had to keep taking showers, and unfortunately, I can't take any more showers now. Uh, I'm at sea, and the Sandblast Islands are not known for their water supply and things like that. And people want money for everything. So I've got everything on board. I've been shopping, I've got everything I can think of on board. I can survive for about three weeks, I reckon, four, maybe a month, uh, without uh, any outside help. And I just stopped on the way uh, out of Sa uh, Santa Marta there to get fuel and I diesel up the boat. So I filled everything. Uh, which is great. The outboard engine hasn't been run for about a month. So I hope it'll start. I'm going to need it when I get to the islands. So anyway, the wind is good. Uh, I'm going to settle down for the night. Bit of chop. I don't even know what I'm going to eat yet. I haven't even thought that far ahead. Good night. I'll see you uh, in the morning. Setting towards the sun. South America. My dad used to come down here a lot uh, on business and uh, he died five years ago today so I might just have a very 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 small beer to him uh, this evening he paid for the boat Slowed right down just under the foresail, uh, reefed, got the, the perspex ready to slide in there, got the fowlies ready, because I'm watching this over here, uh, wind's picked up, it's changed direction a little bit, I'm going to have to alter course uh, in a minute, but I'm just, I'm just waiting to see, I think that's actually downwind of me now. Um, 
time, but it was very close a few minutes ago. Just in case it does get bad, I've got some washing powder here and some laundry. Mustn't waste any fresh water if there's any to be had. Yeah, so I'm keeping an eye on that guy there. Yeah, this is the third day. I didn't film anything yesterday because I haven't been feeling too good. I got uh, about to seasick. It was rough since the moment, pretty much the moment I left um, Colombia. And uh, when I hadn't, I hadn't been at sea for a month, and so it kind of hit me. And uh, I'm, I'm okay now. I've just had uh, some food and I'm feeling much better. But for the first couple of days, I didn't feel too good at all. Uh, hence the no film because it, there's a lot of swell. There's a bit now, not as bad as it was, but she's just been rocking and rolling all the time. But I had some good wind, made some good mileage. Um, but because she kept falling off the waves as, as Shaddy does in the big stuff, doing this kind of thing, uh, the wind was getting around behind the main uh, because the, the wind was predominantly from behind us and it would get round the wrong side and she'd broach and I did it so many times I thought this is this is not good for the rigging so I took the, the uh, mainsail down and I to be honest with you I just enjoyed just a quiet sail today I haven't touched the helm since I got up this morning and it's now about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon so just the foresail up I was cruising at four knots five knots quite merrily I'm just waiting to see if this this bloody thing here gets out of my way. I need to be a bit more over there I'm, because the wind's changed direction slightly. So I'm just waiting on him as soon as that's got out of my way. Well, because there was some nice big bits of lightning because we're headed for the sand blast and sand blast is known for its rainstorms of lightning. And there was some nice good bits of lightning streaking down in another few minutes ago. So I'm staying here. I'll have a cup of tea. very British about it. Let's have a cup of tea and wait and see what happens. A few hours later and we're under power. Not a gentle sail into the sunset this evening, but a, a gentle motor in almost windless conditions. The sail's got a bit of wind in her, but that's just apparent wind caused by uh, the boat's movement through the water, uh, provided of course by engine power. But uh, there's very little, as you can see there, whoops. Uh, there's very little uh, wind, it's just a gentle breeze at the moment. I actually got two problems uh, this evening. Uh, one, of course, as I've said, there's no wind. Uh, there was that storm coming up that you saw. Uh, it passed us by and then the wind completely died. I'd run around prepping the boat, <laughs> expecting to be able to do some laundry in the rain and uh, got everything tied down just in case the wind came with it. Nothing, nothing. Uh, so I still got some dirty laundry and we got no wind. I thought, what am I going to do? I, I, I waited about an hour then I thought, okay, I've got to start the engine. We've got 90 miles to run to the San Blas Islands. Uh, so I thought, well, if I do two hours, it'll get us about 10 miles closer, take it down to about 80. But the other uh, problem I got is that we got very little, but very little power. The batteries on this boat are coming to the end of their life. Uh, they, they're okay, but we need a good bit of sun to uh, get on the, um, the solar panels above my head here uh, to get us a good charge throughout the day. But uh, today, as you can probably see all around me, uh, and even this evening now, as, just before it gets dark, there's absolutely no sun. Well, I've got the big orange thing in front of me burning away there. But it's not uh, the kind of sun you need to be charging the solar panels with. So. Um, I mean, the, the house batteries are under 12 volts, which is not a good thing. Um, so they're going to need to be replaced at some point. But uh, I need to find a place where I can get a reasonable, uh, a reasonable deal on batteries. Where I am at the moment, it's hard to get anything. Anyway, um, so yes, uh, so we're getting 10 miles further down the track and we're charging the, uh, the everything because I need, uh, with the engine, because I need stuff tonight. Obviously, you're going to turn the engine off, I'm going to be running uh, navigation gear uh, and uh, lights and so on and so forth uh, throughout the night so I need to have uh, power right so um, I've just got some a one cup uh, one pot cooking thing on the stove at the moment some chickpeas and sausages and stuff <laughs> that's cooking while I'm doing this so uh, I Lord knows what's gonna happen when I turn the engine off she's just probably gonna sit there and flop anyway we'll cross that bridge when we come to it
don't know if I can catch him, but there's a little swallow, like we had uh, on the last trip, actually. He <laughs> might even be the same one. I recognize the boat. There he is. Whoa. Yeah, he's just landed up there. He's just landed up there. Um, same thing. We're like 90 miles from uh, shore, so I guess he's uh, looking for a place to stop. They've been doing this all day. And that, uh, that mainsail can make quite a noise when it's flogging hard. But after a while it just, it just gets, you know, it just gets to you. This constant noise. And a rolling. But that sea is delightful. I don't, I don't know if you can see it there. There's the reflections going down deep into the water. Oh, be careful these ropes are trying to whip the camera out of my hand all right well anyway I've got a plan uh, I've decided I'm going to start the engine because over there you can see there's some cloud fairly near the uh, the sea surface well, which might mean there's some wind underneath it so uh, we're gonna go check that out because I just got to do something so I'll start the engine for an hour just to do something different because I'm beginning to roast here you can tell how loud it is when you're up close to this thing. Um, yeah, I've got a, my new little thing I've had made up. There's a sunshade, but it's still damn hot. Been hot all day, and as the sun's come round, I've moved the uh, sunshade over to this side of the boat. Under power at the moment, just no wind. Nothing, nothing. Just been floating around all day. And eventually I thought, okay, let's chase some clouds, see if we can find some wind. I seem to uh, run into things like this sometimes. Uh, that's, that's a pretty amazing cloud. If you look at him, he looks like some giant spaceship just hanging in midair. And the bottom of him is, is completely flat. See, in a straight line with the, with the sea. I'm just wondering if he's uh, full of electric charge and if I, I sail underneath there, my pointy big sticky mast thing will uh, discharge, uh, help him discharge into me. Uh, no, I don't think I want that. He is a monster. My path leads pretty much directly underneath those guys. While I'm under power, I'm trying to steer a straight course. So that's where we're going to go. There's still no wind. Lots of crap in the ocean around here. Uh, hit three logs already uh, over the last couple of days. Just past the toilet seat and some of this stuff here. And it's a beautiful day five, is it? I think. Just past a semi-submerged tree. I know I'm a steel boat, but uh, I can still get damaged by hitting things. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to catch us on Facebook, Adventures in Old Sea Dog, for real-time updates. Uh, please like and thumbs up uh, Facebook and uh, uh, YouTube here. Uh, 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 you can catch us on Patreon if you want to do some pledging and help us out with the channel. That would be brilliant. Uh, in the meantime, just have a great time and, and be safe. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, I've just touched my nose. Don't do that. Like a big bay, uh, and then we it connects uh, with another part of Colombia. I felt seasick, quite seasick, in fact. Um, I am. Oof.